There's something special about a barber shop. It's one of the oldest professions. It will never go away. It's not just about the cut, because that's on point as a given. It's about the experience, the chair, the conversation, the vibe. You're not just selling a service, you're selling confidence. As important as it is to have others believe in you, it matters most to believe in yourself, even when no one else does. I want to tell you a story. It's from a time when my faith was running thin. I lost everything to alcoholism. My marriage had ended. I'd lost my kids, my job. I couldn't afford food. I was at rock bottom. Despite everything though, I had a seed of hope. But in order to climb out, it required complete surrender. It's a funny thing how letting go can lead to you having everything you'd ever hoped for. The shitty part is, you have to let go. When I closed my eyes, I could see it all. The chairs, the ceiling, the music, the people. It was all there. A beautiful reality in my mind. It just hadn't happened yet. I was new to the city and looking for a fresh start. When I finished school, I searched the valley for the urban barber experience I loved so much from home. Anything that looked promising on the outside was just a facade. They just weren't good enough. The commission sucked, and I knew I could do better. I started the long road of rebuilding my credit, saving up, and prepping. I did cuts out of my house for four and a half years. I made myself a promise that once I had enough chairs, mats, brooms, an open sign, the works, I'd make the move official and start running this space. Then one day, I opened my garage and went, holy shit, I'm ready. Funny thing is, I'd been working this whole time and realized I didn't even have a name. I was with my son and we were running through all sorts of names. Most of it was complete crap. But then when my son said, what about Cutthroat? I was like, dude, that's dope. From there, it was all about creating an atmosphere that reminded me of home. Art, music, service, all the pieces were mixing together like a well-planned tattoo. It's not often that you're dealt a second chance. When you're at the bottom, it's easy for people to discount your ability and just brush you off. It makes me wonder what would happen if we believed in each other a little more. While the road has been long and harder than hell, I know there are more chapters to my story. Success doesn't happen overnight. It's not a destination, it's a pursuit. If I could change my life, anybody can. You just have to surrender.